Not everybody's going to make it, okay? Not everybody makes it. Because if they could, if everybody could do it, it wouldn't be exciting, would it? Hey, everybody. I'm Stu Carter from Atomite TV, and I've got here some totally illegal, unauthorized, fake, rip-off Star Wars toys. So stand by for a bootleg toy review. Yeah, and of course, you know, uh, Star Wars Episode 37 the Force Awakens is starting in movie theaters. I think, oh, is it only a week away? Wow, I, I get so hyped. Uh, these, are not from, these are not yet, they haven't yet put out rip-off toys for that. These are from Episode 7, right? Episode 7, yeah. And they're ripping off uh, Hasbro's The Black Series, which Hasbro came out with. Those are the larger scale, uh, like about five and a half, six inch scale figures. They started a couple years ago, and these are rip-off of those. Uh, I'll compare the packages for you so you can kind of see how they're ripping off the designs. Okay, so while I don't have uh, a toy available in the package from The Force Awakens, I've got one from the upcoming movie, and uh, you can see what they do. Of course, they rip off the logo, Star Wars logo, although it's printed a little bit different in the new package. They continue to rip off the subdued artwork, see the black... Uh, it's sort of like an outline of this is Darth Vader, this is Kylo Ren. And if you look on the, and, uh, of course, Star Wars logo again at the bottom and the little logo of the, of the guy R2-D2. And then on the back, same kind of deal. They're ripping off the subdued artwork of Hasbro. And we look close at the back of the package and we'll see they're, they're too embarrassed. They're embarrassed to say exactly the name of the company that's doing those ripoffs here. Uh, this says collect them all, and it's made it. <coughs> and you say it, it says collect them all, and made it. <coughs> and it's got a, uh, this striping. I do remember this blue striping was on, I think it's blue or red, was on the uh, older The Force Awakens packages. If I can find any online, I'll try to post a side by side. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have that now. Well, we've got. Of course, we got Chewbacca hair, a uh, Chewbacca, and uh, he's got some accessory, and then your standard stormtrooper. And on this package, uh, looks like a uh, Luke and the Hoff, the Hoff outfit, right? And then uh, the red guy is called Clone Trooper Commander Gar Garch, and uh, the other is a Clone Trooper Commander Doom, Doom, and then another standard Garch Doom, <laughs> and another standard stormtrooper. Uh, and then here's, uh, oh, something just fell off. Cloud Trooper Captain Rex. And then your standard, a standard X-Wing fighter pilot. I don't think he's anybody in particular. If you guys think he is, let me know. But, uh, well, let's get these opened up so we can see just how bad they are. Okay, we're going to start with this two-pack here with Chewbacca and uh, the Sword Trooper. By the way, all these packs are really, like, uh, Two or four, between two to four dollars each, if you could get them. But you can't get them in the United States. <laughs> but Chewbacca, Chewbacca, one of the original Star Wars characters. Yeah, you know he first appeared back in the first Star Wars movie, the first Star Wars movie, Episode uh, Four. Yeah, Episode Four, the first, the first Star Wars movie, because Episode Four, because we had to go back and create Jar Jar Binks. And talk about trade negotiations, because that's why we watch Star Wars. To learn about trade negotiations in space is so important. Well, I'm hoping the next one is going to be more explosions and shooting. Yeah, that's what we all want, really. We want to see X-Wing fighters going down in that trench to drop those bombs. Yeah, all right. All right, I digress. Let's open it up. And look at Chewbacca and the Stormtrooper. <laughs> okay, so Chewbacca, and you know, back when they released this first movie, I saw it, of course, when it was re released, uh, they made a big deal about his Chewbacca, Chewbacca, but he does not chew tobacco. Tobacco, it's like it was a funny little joke that the PR people were doing. <laughs> He's got that silly, uh, you know, kind of <laughs> expression on his face. And uh, he does articulate. I mean, he can bend his uh, at the knees and a little bit, see, like that. And he can bend at the elbows, but he can't rotate his wrists. And he can turn his head a little bit. And he's got a little accessory pouch. And they gave us a bit. He's got a, a, a staff, kind of a weapon. I guess I, I assume that's for Chewbacca. I think the, the uh, 
he's a Wookiee, right? And the Wookiees had those weird things. Uh, I, they take on the Imperial stormtroopers with basic, they're just like the, uh, those other guys. They, the, anyway, well, yeah, and he's got something else to fail, but I'll show you that in a second. He, he definitely stands up easy with those big feet of his. All right, well, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the stormtrooper here. All right, bye-bye, Chewbacca. And uh, the stormtrooper, his legs are kind of spindly. Look how thin his legs are. He must be the skinny one, I guess. You know, he's a little short for a stormtrooper, <laughs> but uh, and you can see he doesn't stand up that well. But yeah, he articulate, but they don't give him, he doesn't get any weapons. What's a stormtrooper without his blaster? Yeah, his head turns. Uh, kind of, you know, can you tell that, you can tell that like the molding is kind of cheap, cheesy and cheap, right? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll get another one later. Uh, when, I get, when I show the other stormtrooper, I'll show you my other... Uh, my my recent stormtrooper from Hasbro, but there's also an undisclosed <clears throat> an undisclosed feature. Look at this. You push. Look at that. He lights up. How about that, Hasbro? Hasbro. This has got extra features and it's a ripoff. Ah, uh, why doesn't Hasbro make a light up chest thing? Why doesn't Hasbro do that? His whole chest lights up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> <laughs> because Chewbacca doesn't light up in the chest. It's a ripoff because it's a fake toy. All right, let's look at some more. Okay, so this two-pack, uh, first, I looked it up by checking the coloring, the color patterns of this guy's uniform. Obviously, he's a clone trooper, tr clone. <laughs> he's a clone trooper, Captain Rex from Clone Wars. Not, I don't think he was, a, if he was in Episode Seven. He was like one of those thousands of guys you saw march around on, on the flight deck. Uh, but if you guys have been watching Clone Wars, maybe you can tell me more about him in the comments. I guess the whole deal is he's a clone of um, Jango Fett, right? So is that a good strategy to make an army like everybody the same guy? Is that really? I mean, if the one guy is like, you know, Jason Bourne, maybe. But how good was was Jango Fett really that good? I don't know. And then the other guy is your standard just an X-wing pilot. You know that orange outfit, uh, orange outfit, X-wing fighter pilot. You know, because the the sad truth is that when you're going into the trench to hit the Death Star, when you're invading the Death Star, not everybody's gonna make it. Okay, not everybody makes it because if they could, if everybody could do it, it would be exciting, wouldn't it? He'd just sit back there and all right, who's gonna take turns going down the trench? No, they all gotta go down the trench. They gotta try. And oh no, oh no, I can't order him. You know, a couple, a couple don't make it. A couple don't come back. And you say nice things about him later. Maybe make a little plaque. And you know, that's how war is, guys. I'm sorry. That's that's the fact. All right. So he is the X-wing fighter pilot, and he's probably expendable because he's not Luke Skywalker. Because you know, Luke's got to survive, right? All right. Let's open him up. So here's Captain Rex. Captain Rex gets a couple of blaster pistols. Uh, they're really soft rubber, and but his holsters, he does have these fakey holsters, but they don't have the slots, so you can't store the pistol in the holster. And uh, yeah, his head, little head turns, so you can look around. And he's got the articulation, and uh, still the same kind of really cheesy kind of uh, sloppy detail on the molding. And his, his little chest lights up, right? Does it light up? Is it lighting up? I can't, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he can do Morse code, you know, like if he needs help. Or maybe that's if he's shot, right? He's like, a, if he's shot, he beeps red to show that he can't play anymore. Like laser tag, right? All right. <laughs> X-Wing pilot. Nice uniform. Really soft plastic. I'm wondering if I'm going to get cancer from this stuff. Because that's the deal with these fakes. They don't use the safety stuff that the uh, real guys... His, he's got that broom-handled Mauser-looking pistol that the Rebels all had right in the story. It's that typical, it's, we call this, a, it's a copy of a broom-handled Mauser from Nazi Germany during World War II. And uh, his boots are kind of bright. Look, you notice that? He's got really shiny boots. So that's a, a plus, I guess. But then, yeah, his shiny boots, but then his uniform's dull. That's, that's a nice little touch. I don't even know if they intended that way, but it does. It is, his gloves are the same kind of shiny, kind of vinyl, cheesy vinyl 
because it's a rebel alliance. They, they don't have a lot of money. <laughs> so they can't have real leather. They've got to have vinyl. And he gets a helmet, which is cool. And you might notice here, uh, I've got a photo. I think I found a photo of one with the same or very similar squadron insignia. We would, in, in the Navy and the Air Force, on your helmet, you put your squadron insignia on the helmet. It's just kind of a cool thing, you know, like a uniform when you wear your, hey, go Trojans. That's what you do. And uh, I was in a squadron. I didn't have a helmet because I didn't get to fly. <laughs> but I put it on my climbing helmet later in life. Yeah. And he's got the little dealy, little control comms panel or something. And does he light up? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, look at that. He lights up. Is he lighting up? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's look at the next one. Okay. Finally, we'll do this four pack. It starts with you got. Uh, Luke Skywalker in the Hoth outfit. That's that rebel base that was on the cold planet. And then the next one is uh, Clone Trooper Commander Gantz. I said Garch. Uh, it's Gantz. <laughs> a certain, I'll show you the coloring in a minute after I open them up. And then this one is uh, Tro Clone Trooper Commander Doom. And then your regular uh, Stormtrooper. And there's some accessories. So, okay, let's open these guys up. All right, first looking at the Stormtrooper. First, I'll talk about the accessories. The Stormtrooper did get an Imperial Blaster kind of thing, the ones that they were using two-handed sometimes. And then I got what apparently is two uh, lightsabers. They're, they're just black. They're not two-color, but I could tell it's a lightsaber because of the handle, at least this one. And, it, 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 yeah, it's kind of bent. And then this one... It looks like a lightsaber too, but uh, it's got this, is this extra flames or something on it, you know? And it's bent. I don't know. But, I mean, two lightsabers, but there's only one Jedi in this pack of four. What's going on here? All right. Well, anyway, talking about uh, the Stormtrooper, what's weird too, his lower feet, his, his plastic is kind of soft, more rubbery. And a little bit less rubbery in the upper leg. And then here in his chest and torso, it's very stiff plastic. And yeah, he does the light light up chest thing. Yeah, that's where you guys got to do that. And and then it does look pretty big. Here, let me show you the, the one that I got you know, from... Uh, this is the one I picked up during the Star Wars Force Friday event, right? And I haven't reviewed it yet. And everyone else in the world has already. What do you think? Well, it's the Hasbro one. Of course it's better. I don't know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's much better. And it's not going to give you cancer because they inspect the plastic and stuff. All right. All right, let's look at the others. So this is Stormtrooper Commander Doom. And, you know, actually, he had a toy, uh, a Hasbro toy, some time ago. And I found it. Well, at least I, I know I, I found a picture of it. I didn't have the toy. So... I know he's, well, he's a real guy, uh, but, uh, of course, this is a fake, this is a rip-off toy. He doesn't get any accessories, but he's got a holster for his pistols and stuff, and he's got his little uh, Clone Wars helmet with the antenna and the, the little light bumps and some kind of insignia on his chest. And does he light up? No, what a rip. His battery's dead or something. It doesn't work on that. Yeah. Commander Doom. Okay. And then... Uh, Stormtrooper Commander Gantz. And I've determined, it was kind of hard figuring out what this guy was because there's a lot of uh, red uniform stormtroopers, uh, clone troopers. But I figured uh, one, uh, some fan art I found showed the coloring much like this helmet. Most of the ones that I saw had different colors on the helmet. But this fan art had this colors on the helmet. Maybe... Somebody who's seen all the Clone Wars shows can say, yeah, I remember. And C called it, the fan said it was phase two, whatever that means. And he lights up. And uh, he's got his pistol belt, but he doesn't, uh, he doesn't have an accessory pistol. Yeah, so you could have my, I'm starting on a cheap, cheesy, rip-off clone army here. And then finally, we get Luke. Okay, I'll give him a, a lightsaber. He's also, his, his hand is shaped so that he can hold a, a pistol, but he didn't get a pistol. I mean, I gave the pistol to the, to the other guy, to the, uh, 
You know, and our, actually, he's got a holster, so let me go rob the pistol back from the other. Uh, he's got a holster, so he could hold a pistol if I had one. Now I've lost it. Here, I'll take this one. <laughs> Just wait. Okay, here, I can stick a pistol in his holster. He's the only one in this group that had a, a workable holster. And then he's got his lightsaber. So Hoth, he was on, this is the time he was on that frozen planet and he got lost. He didn't get back into, oh, because that, that uh, monster from um, the night before Christmas, <laughs> the Christmas monster, you, you know, what's that show with Burl Lives and they're in the North Pole and then the, the big snow monster comes. That's who got Luke also. They didn't know they were on Hoth. And uh, to help me out in the, in the comments, tell me what show I'm thinking of. Uh, with Burl Ives, and he sings, you know, do, 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 do. And they're at, at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, yeah. And they had the snow monster guy. And in the end, he turned out to be nice. But in, <laughs> anyway, the same snow monster got on the Luke and hung him upside down. And then he had to do the whole Jedi mind meld thing and get the, uh, the yeah, you know the story. Anyway, this is especially cheesy because his... Uh, Plastic looks, I mean, there's no, uh, it's not subtle. I mean, that, down below, yeah, it's sort of that dull, dull, dull finish, which is better. But then up here, he's got this shiny finish uh, where his clothing would be. And then he gets dull finish again with his hat. So, yeah, it's, it's a low quality toy manufacturing there. Luke and his Hoth. Well, that's my look at the bogus bootleg Star Wars Black Series action figures. Anyway, we'll ask, how is it he's signing off and the toys are still in the package? And I would say that it's because we're in a strange alternate Star Wars universe. A universe where we don't like George Lucas and we get rid of Jar Jar Binks and the Ewoks and just do things the way we want with lots of great explosions done naturally with lots of gasoline and stuff like that. Until then... And until my next show, have a great day. No one I know is how to kill me. I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions.